Hi everybody, it's Kara from Club Pilates in McKinney and I am, I am going to do a mini ball and flex band workout for you today. So if you have those toys, grab them. Flex band if you have it. I've heard some people of using their Pilates pants as flex band or pantyhose. Flex band works a little better, a little more hygienic. Anyway, if you don't have a flex band, you can mimic. You could use um, very lightweight, like one or two pound max dumbbells if you don't have a flex band. And a mini ball. If you don't have a mini ball, you can use a rolled up pillow, sweatshirt tied up into the hood. If you don't have a mini ball and want one, I know where you can get one. Also flex band. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to get started. I would like you to grab your flex band. If you don't have a flex band, then you can either use a towel or you know something else for this stuff. Um, as usual, my disclaimers are coming. If you have any injuries, issues, conditions, concerns, please honor your body. Um, <laughs> oh, Erica, you're back for more. Deal. She, uh, I did this workout once already today, for those of you that wanted to join me face on a Zoom instead. All right, so any injuries, if you have stuff with your back and you need to hinge versus articulate, please do so. Head and shoulder, neck stuff. Keep your head down if you need to when we're laying flat in the seeker. Most of this is pretty safe for all of you though. Okay, so we're gonna grab that flex band, bring it out in front of you. We're gonna warm up our shoulders first. So you can just sit in your cross-legged crisscross applesauce if your knees or hips don't like that. Legs straight out in front of you. Okay, holding that band, we're gonna give it a little energy into it. Just give it a little tug and then release it. And a little pull it out and release. And pull it out. Just feeling those shoulder blade muscles kind of retract and connect a little bit while keeping the it abs connected on the front. Do that one more time. Just pull it out. Now keep that connection and then lift your arms up overhead. Ooh, I'm crooked and then bring it back down. So pull those shoulders down and then really try to lift evenly, right to left, overhead. Oh, and your head should be right between your arms and then bring it back down. Connect those shoulders, keep the shoulder blades down on your back as you lift the band overhead and then bring it back down. Are your abs still tight and your ribs knitted together? Hope so. Shoulders down. Lift it up one more time, hold it there, and then pull it a little bit apart. And then I want you to skim your back to pull it down. And then bring it back up. So I'm gonna turn sideways real quick on that one. So you're pulling the band, it's slightly in front of your forehead, you're pulling it down, and just skimming your back. So your arms are more like jumping jack move. They're not going back behind you trying to dislocate, right? So it's stretch the band, and pull it down. And then bring it back up. We're gonna side bend to one side. So sitting nice and tall, keep both six bones down and give me a little side bend. Pull that bottom hand down an extra inch. Release that extra inch, sit up tall. Flex up and over to the other side. Sitting bones down, rib cage lifts, pull that hand down an extra inch. And then bring it back up and come tall. One more time each side. We're going to sit nice and tall with your spine. Inhale as you flex sideways, laterally flexing that upper spine. And then pull that bottom hand down that extra inch. And then slide it forward or slice the air forward. And bring it back and sit tall. Shoulders down. Big inhale as you laterally flex over. Pull that hand down an extra inch. Slide it towards your rib cage. And back. And up tall and bring it back down. Okay, those shoulders and shoulder blade area on your back should feel nice and connected and warmed up. We're gonna use the ball and the band. I'm gonna turn sideways. So your feet are gonna be out in front of you on the mat, and we're gonna use the little ball as a little door stopper. It looks like a bunny tail, acts like a door stopper. It's gonna support our low back. So if you will take your band, if you have it, you are not using it, that's okay. It could be imaginary. We're gonna just put it against across our shins. And initially, I just want you just to lay it there for what's next. Hands are gonna go along your legs, and I just want you to find that little imprint. The posterior tilt the pelvis. 
You should feel like you're on the back edge of the sits bones and then sit back up. If you've been doing these workouts with us, you should find where that imprint is, right? So we're gonna flex the pelvis back, pull the pelvis back, and then it kind of flexes and then our whole spine's in a little C shape. And then your eye gaze is gonna go to that band and then bring it back up. Okay, now grab onto the band and we're gonna do the same thing. Arms stay straight, shoulders down. You're gonna feel those muscles in your arms and gait. And then we're gonna pull down against that band as you come back. And then bring it back up to a vertical posture. So eye gaze kind of towards the band, between your legs as you flex it back <laughs> and sit back up. Okay, do that again. Flex back, pull back, pull those abs in and that band down just a little bit and then bring it back up. Okay, so that's our kind of warm up of that position. We're gonna go right into our hundreds here. We're gonna keep legs down in that same position you were just in. So start by sitting tall, take a big inhale, exhale, curl that tailbone under, pull yourself back and keep your tippy toes on your mat. Ready? Pull the band down. You can adjust where you hold it if you need to. And then inhale, pump, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Breathe deep into those ribs, pumping those arms. Feel those armpit lat muscles working. Eye gaze forward, feeling some energy. Lungs filling and releasing every last drop of air. Arms pumping up and down. Breathe in. One more time in. And bring yourself up top. All right, band out in front of you. Shoulders down. We're gonna curl that tailbone under again and lean back till you kind of find your little quiver spot. Shoulders down, pull the band apart a little bit. And then I want you to rotate to the right. Come back to center, rotate to the left, come back center, and sit up. We're gonna alternate sides. So we curl the tailbone back, lean back, a little energy in the band, rotate left, center, right, center, sit back up. We're gonna do two more, one each direction. So band apart, shoulders connected, roll the band so it's just over the front of your thighs, rotate to the side, Center, the other side, center, sit back up tall. Last one, going the other way first. Curl it back, rotate to the left, center, right, center, and sit all the way up. All right, there's some of our abdominal warm up. All right, from here, we're going to go into um, some work with our band. So I'm going to have you um, keep the ball where it was and I want the band around the balls of your feet. Okay? And then put the ball band in a little X. Okay? So you crisscross it. If you're not using the band and you have dumbbells instead, you can do the same movement. Okay? So we're going to choke up on that band a little bit and this time we're going to try to find a hinge back. So I do want you to just tilt on the back edge of the sits bones and lean yourself back a little bit. And we're gonna do that mid-back row. So pull your thumbs towards your armpits and then reach back towards your knees. You may choke up or down on your band. If you have the handle tubing, you're gonna to need to hold on the tubing or it's not gonna be long enough. And then pull it back. You could do this if you had springs, same movement. This is mimicking a move we do on the reformer, right? Your abs should be working. Try to stay out of those hip flexors. Let those deep abs connect. Last one. Bring it up and sit up. We're gonna add on and make it more like our rowing. So we're gonna start with those hands there. You may need to adjust where you hold your strap. So shoulders down, curl tailbone slightly back, and then lean back. Pull your elbows in towards your um, armpits, thumbs towards the edge of your spine. Extend your elbows to the side. Bend your elbows, sit back up, okay? So row it back, tricep extend if you can, bring it in, and sit it back up. So we pull back, we extend, we bend, sit back up, okay? Curl back, pull it back, open, close, and rebuild. Three more. So we pull back as we roll back. Elbows extend, elbows bend, reach forward as you sit up, okay? 
Again, curl back and pull those shoulder blades together. Open the elbows to the side. Bring it in. Sit back up. Okay, last time. Pull it back. Pull the arms back. And then open elbows. Close elbows. Arms reach. Sit all the way up. Okay, keep those um, straps crossed. Sit tall, lean back again, pull your elbows into your rib cage, and we're gonna do a little external rotation, a little scapular squeeze. Your shoulder blades are down, your elbows are close, but not squeezed all the way tight. They're just about a fist distance from your side of your waist. And then give me that little hitchhiker, external rotation. Squeeze those bottom points of the shoulder blades. Are your abs still engaged? And you're still breathing, right? <laughs> Two more, one more. Sit it all the way up. Okay. Low row time. So we're going to do that same thing. Find back edge of sit bones, pulling the abs in, lean your body back, hold your band wherever works for you, and then you want your knees a little more extended just so you don't whack them. And then pull back with a low row. Pull back with a low row. Four. Three. Two. Hold those abs in. One. Okay, ready? Hold your left arm still, right over your knee or thigh, shoulders down, and then just pull with the right. Keep that left one still or you'll lose your band. If you're using a dumbbell or something else, <laughs> you can still just hold that arm straight. Pull back and rotate, look over your shoulder. Three more, two more, one more. Sit up for a moment if you need to. I'm gonna do it so you will too. Curl the back edge of the tailbone under. Roll back, lean back a little bit, hold that right arm straight, right in line with your knee or thigh, and then pull the left elbow back and look over your shoulder. Rotate. Initiate with shoulder blade and rib cage turning. Hips are pretty still, but you don't have to like lock them. But try to feel those obliques wrapping around your waist. Four more. Three. Two. One. And bring it up. Okay. Little ball is going to go out of the way for a second. So set it where you won't lose it. Uncross your band. We're going to choke up on our band a little bit. And we're going to roll down. Curl your tailbone under. Roll your spine down to the mat. And we're going to stay there. Bring your legs up to tabletop. Okay. All right. Make sure the band, um, if you are using the band, that it's flattish and around the balls of your feet. So it won't flip off. And then I want you to go a little bit closer to the ends of your band. We're going to do a little test here, okay? I like to hold it like through my hand so it's not breaking my wrist position. And then can you reach your band overhand, overhead? Yeah? Okay. And then we're going to take arms and legs away from each other and scoop it back in. So if you need to watch once, it's going to go curl head and chest up if that works for you, or head and shoulders can stay down. Arms and legs reach away as you inhale. Exhale, scoop it back in. I realize I didn't adjust my camera perfectly. There we go. Reach so my arms and legs don't leave the screen. <laughs> bring it back in. And reach. And bring it back in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach. You can omit the arms overhead if it's too much for you. Give me three more. Pull those abs in. Reach. One more, reach, and bring it in, head and shoulders down. All right, take the band to just your right hand. Put your left foot on the floor for a second, okay? Pull your elbow down towards the mat. So here's a little test. We're gonna bicep curl. That hand's gonna come more towards the shoulders. You take your right leg out long, and then you're gonna release it a little bit, okay? So bring your left leg to tabletop if you can. You can always put that leg down if you need to. So this is our variation of single leg stretch. Head and shoulders can stay down, or you can come up into your chest lift. If you need to support your head with your hand, that's okay, because that leg's not doing anything. So right leg is in, left leg is out. And then we're gonna give it a little extra bicep curl, hand to the shoulder as the right leg reaches out. And then release it a little bit. So legs are opposite. And I just want you to give yourself a little extra bicep challenge. Your elbow can hover off of the mat. If you choke down closer to your leg, you'll get more tension. 
find where it works for you. I want you to focus on abdominals and the leg, and the bicep is just added bonus. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, head and shoulders down. Put your left foot in the band with the right one. The left foot in, and don't shake it about. <laughs> Sorry. Entertaining myself again with a little hokey pokey went through my head. All right, so give yourself a little test. Take that left leg out long and pull the bicep, pull the wrist and hand toward your shoulder a little bit, and then release it, okay? So if you're holding the right spot of your band, then go ahead and bring that right leg up. So the left leg is bent, band is slightly less tension, and then we're gonna bicep curl as you straighten that left leg. Option to come up into your chest lift. You can have hand behind head, hand reaching long, hand guiding the shoe. Push and pull. Three, two, one. Bring it in. All right. Band comes off of your feet. Bring it over um, head or really to ceiling height, okay? And then both legs to tabletop. We're gonna do our crisscross obliques. So if you need to support your head, just ditch the band or keep your head and shoulders down. So I'm gonna curl my head and chest up and my band is going straight up over my shins. As I exhale, I'm gonna straighten one leg and rotate or twist towards my bent knee. Back to center and twist the other way. Twist, center, twist, 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 reach, reach, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. All right, go ahead and rock yourself up to seated. And then we're gonna get our little ball again. It's going back behind our tailbone, okay? And now we're gonna put the band behind our back. So if you'll unwind it, the flatter it is across your back, the better it feels there, okay? And then I like to kind of bunch up the excess because it just, one makes it easier to grab when it's not flipping around on me. So you can choke up or down on your band to find the tension that works for you, okay? So shoulders down, hands are in close. We're gonna do a little like chest press in our earthquake position, okay? So back edges is bones, lean back into your ball. It should be against your low back, okay? Find your quiver spot and then hands go out and then keep them in close. So they're coming into your body, not out wide. And wrists are neutral, don't let them flex and break in the, the neutral position. Every time you press those hands out, pull your abs in a little bit more. And reach, and reach. Three more. Then you need to come out of it for a second. Two, one, sit all the way up, okay? You can stay seated all the way up if the earthquake's too much for you today. Okay, before you start to lose it. We're gonna hug a tree in that same thing. So we're gonna go back edges, hip bones, pull the abs in, lean yourself back to your spot, hands go out in front of you, elbows are soft, and then we open and close. Your eye gaze should be between your knees or toes, belly drawing in, opening and closing the arms in that chest fly, hug a tree shape. So your elbows are soft but stationary, Feel those shoulder blade muscles protracting forward, retracting back. Your chest and shoulder muscles are working, but find those back muscles. Are you feeling your abs yet? Two, last one, and sit up for a moment. All right, we're gonna try a little scissor arm. There's a little trick of the band not sliding on your back, but I think you can find it. I, I trust that you can. Okay, so back edge is his bones. Ooh. Pull back into your earthquake, about 45 to 50 degrees. Spine's pretty neutral. And then reach your arms out in front of you. 
Keep the left hand right over your knee. We're touching your knee. And then lift up. Bring it back to knee height. And then left arm goes up. So you want to keep some tension in that opposite band. And it will minimize the rolling up and down and hitting you in the back of the head. You know I like my disclaimers. So <laughs> if it hits you in the back of the head, you didn't keep even tension. <laughs> Not my fault. One more time, right? And left. And sit all the way up. All right. We're going to take that band away from there. Bring it with you. We're going back down to the mat. So ball between your inner thighs. And then lay back. Roll back. Okay? So from here, I would like you, if you can, to put the band across your hip bones. So ASIS or hip crease. And then you're going to get to decide how much of this you do, okay? So I want you to find the hands on the mat. I have long arms, so I bend my elbows just a little bit out to the side so that I can anchor that band, okay? We're going to articulate up if it's appropriate for your spine. We're going to go a little squeeze on the ball on the way up. So inner thighs are active, pelvic bone curls up, and we peel up to our bridge. I want you to squeeze the ball a little bit, reach the knees low, find the tripod, big toe, little toe, heel bone on the mat, and then melt sternum, middle back, rib cage, lower back, and then tailbone down. You can adjust where you hold your band to give you your amount of tension. So a little squeeze, curl it up, peel it up, 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 reach it away, breathe, and then melt it down. Nice and slow. Okay, here we go again. Pelvis curls. Peel up. Lengthen those knees out. Big toe, little toes. Squeeze the ball. And then bring it all the way down. All right. You may remove your band for a moment. We're going to squeeze the ball. Hands press into the mat. Now we're going to just hinge bridge up. So press down into the arms, open collarbones, squeeze the ball, tighten core, lift up in one piece, okay? And then lower your hips. Lift up in one piece. Lower your hips. Lift up in one piece and hold. Give me five squeezes of the ball. Press. Inflate, deflate. Press. 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 Press and hold. Lower your hips down. All right, we're going to do a single leg variation if you are up for it, okay? So head in line with the spine, a little squeeze on the ball, very um, connecting that core, and then take your left leg out long. Thighs are still in line so you can hold the ball. Really press it into that tripod shape of your foot. Tighten up your core and then lift up. Now, instead of lowering and lifting the leg, I want you pressing the ball. Left leg presses in, right leg doesn't let it go anywhere. Five. Four, three, two, one. Hold the leg long. Drop your hips straight down. And then put the foot down. Shoulders open. Take the right leg out long. Thighs are lined up with each other so you don't drop the ball. And then press in evenly into that left foot. Tighten your core. And then lift your hips up to your long line. And then right leg presses in. Left leg doesn't let it go anywhere. Okay? Five, four, three, two, one. One, lower hips, and then bring your foot back down. Nice. All right. So we're going to do that again. So tighten up the core. Take the left leg out long. Even with your thighs, press down, lift up again. And again, same thing. Right leg doesn't let the ball go anywhere. Left pulls it in. In, 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 in. Five, four, reach long. Three, two, one. Hips to the mat, foot down. Right foot out on that long diagonal line. Press into your ball a little bit. Tighten up your core. Hinge up. And then left leg holds still. Right leg pushes in. In, in, in. Pulse five, four, three. Keep reaching long. Lower hips. Bring foot down. All right. Well done. All right. Rock yourself up to seated. I'm going to have you come up to a kneeling position. If kneeling doesn't work for you, you could stand and put this under your foot. Or you could double up your mat or put a cushion under there. Band, 
flat on your mat or the floor. Put your left ball of the foot in the band. And then come up to your high proposal lunge coach's stance. And then you can decide where to hold your band. We're gonna square hips and shoulders. That down leg needs to be square, glute tight, shoulders open. And then we're just gonna do our little chest expansion plow. So straight ahead with your torso, shoulders, pull your hands to the back of your thighs and the front of your thighs. So we pulled it back. And pull it back. Really pull those abdominals in to open the front of that right hip. And you'll feel the right glute activate a little bit more without over squeezing the glute. Give me five. Pull it back four. Three. Two. Hold it back. Ready? Tricep. Bend your elbows a little bit. Extend them. Really pull those abdominals in to stabilize. You should feel both legs doing some work as you give me a little tricep kickback. Five more. Now three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna switch legs. So let your band go and then switch your feet. So now I have the right foot under the band. I'm gonna grab it. Okay, and now I'm gonna let a little bit more of my band out than I did on the other side. And I'm doing, gonna do a little V-shape front raise. So you guys, it's our, not a full T, but a little bit in front. Okay, so compress abs, grow tall in your spine, and then your, um, if you can go kind of thumbs up, but just don't roll down, keep your shoulders open, right? And then just lift up a little bit. Up to chest towards shoulder height, but not any higher than that. I want you to pull into your postural muscles. Feel the scapula connect on your back as your deltoids raise this up. Remember, <laughs> you're in charge of your tension by where you hold your band. So if you don't have very much left here, it's a lot lighter. So find where it works for your body today. Always. Three, two, and one. Crisscross your strap so it's wrapped, but not so tight that it cuts your foot circulation off, right? And now we're going to do that kind of higher row again. It's a little different angle. So make sure your back is neutral, top posture. And then we're going to pull elbows wide and then back down. Elbows up and down. Think shoulder blades back. That middle trap right between the shoulder blades. Try not to let the shoulders hike up to your ears, but keep the press as you pull up. Three more. You got this. Two. And one. Nice. Uncross your strap. Take your foot out of there. I'm going to go right into the uh, what I consider the challenge one. <laughs> I sit, um, I'm going to have you grab your ball, put it under your right knee, okay? Tuck your left toe under. This can be done on your forearms if you need to, or you can skip the ball. So you guys, our knee stretches are where we scoop in and out with the ball, okay? We're going to try it in a little hover plank. So I want you to have your hand spread wide, get your wrist as neutral as you can. Some of you like to fold your mat up, right, to make it a little bit more of an ankle. Okay, you can roll it into a little piece there. Strong shoulders, tuck that left toe under, hover it. So now your hips should be level, right? Now roll the ball in. It's like you're gliding this plank, sort of. Four, three, knee stretches on the reformer. One more time, put that left knee down. Switch the ball to the other side. So now the ball's under the left knee or shin, somewhere on your shin because it's gonna roll, but closer to your knee so you can roll it in, okay? Tuck that right toe under and then hover that right knee so that it's even with your other leg. So you should be in a nice, like, covered quad and pen. Now pull that left knee in. Keep your neutral spine. Pull abs in. You're in a little hover plank, pulling that leg in and out. You're feeling it, right? Better might not be typing right now. That means you're not doing it with me. <laughs> Two. And one. Right knee down. Okay. You can skip this one if you want, but try to do it with me. We're going to put the ball under both legs, okay? So I'm going to zip my legs together, and I want it on my shin-ish area. Not too much on the foot or the knees, kind of halfway between. 
Again, you can do this on your forearms. Get strong in those shoulders. Lift the ribs to activate the core. Hover the knees. Go out a little bit and a little bit. Get your double knee stretch. Five, if you can. Always honor you. Two, one. <laughs> knees down. Let the ball go. All right. We're going to go to our side. I'm going to put the ball under my rib cage, but before I do, I need my band. So I'm going to lay on my left side so my right leg's on top. So my top leg, which is the right, gets to go around the band. We're going to do some side legs here, okay? And then ball under the rib cage. If you don't have the ball or you don't want to use the ball, you can lay flat on the floor. You can have your legs in line. I want your hips and shoulders stacked. And then your feet come slightly towards the front of your mat. That bottom arm is in forearm plank position. If you need to go lower and support your head, you can. I want you to think, draw your waist in as you're active, okay? Now, there's lots of options. You can hold the band on your leg, hold it down by your thigh. I like to make a fist and anchor it on my mat. And then I'm going to lift my leg up. So starting with just a little lift and lower. The foot comes down and up. Think long. I want you to think, reach that foot out away from your body. How long can you make that leg, right? And we lift and we lower. The waist stays long. The abs are drawing in. And I'm just doing a little lift and a little lower. Yeah? Now hold it up in line with your body. Bend your knee in towards tabletop. The strap should go under your leg if you're holding it like I am. If you have it on top of your thigh, just hold it still. Bend and straighten. Like you're coming in and out of tabletop. So 90 degree hip and knee, and then reach. Finding where you feel tension. You can increase the amount of tension by getting more tautness in your band or loosen it if you need it less. Your hip should be a little bit on fire. Mine is. And then hold it long. If you can point your toes slightly, not so much that the band flips off your foot, right? We're gonna make little ovals. Sort of like a circle, but flattened, so more like an egg shape. A little bit forward and back, a little bit forward and back. Zip up your belly, don't forget about it. And you're still breathing, right? Uh-huh, pause, other way. Reverse your oval. It's kind of flat at the top and bottom and goes forward and back. Kind of like our side kick, but small. Oh, booty burn. Three, two, one. Bring it down, release it just a little bit for a moment. Now, we're gonna rotate out a little bit. Get some energy in that ankle, or stabilize that ankle, and then decide where you want to hold your band. We're going to kick up a little higher in our turnout. My hips are still stacked. My ribs are still lifted. I'm trying to keep the ball inflated as best I can. And now it's the big up and down, up and down. You can always ditch the band and do this just with gravity. Still a lot of work. Three, two, and one. And then bring it in. Take your foot out. If you can bring that top leg in and pull it towards your waist, it'll give your hip a little stretch. While we're here, let's just lift the bottom leg up and down a little bit. You can bring the leg down here. You need to go lower. If your leg doesn't like that, find where it's okay on that top hip and knee. And this can be a little inner thigh activation. Not super hard because you're just grabbing. Three, two, and one. Nice. All right, we're gonna keep the ball there. Take your legs out long. You can bend your bottom leg up to like a tabletop kickstand. We're gonna take the shape of the ball. This top leg is dorsiflex foot, instep pushing into the mat. So there's energy in this top leg inner thigh. And then I'm gonna reach overhead. You can keep your arm here if you need it nicer for your shoulder. The bottom arm can stay on the mat. We're gonna come up a little bit and take the shape of the ball. You can also, you know, do your high foot position and keep both arms up. So you're flexing over the ball and coming up a little bit. It's not a big movement. It's small, but it's all concentrated in the side of the waist obliques. We're lifting. Five. You got this. Four. Three. Two. One. Take the shape of the ball. Put your head on your bottom arm 
and then reach arm and leg away and really try to stretch out that way. Sometimes I roll a little forward or back with the pelvis to change the stretch and then bring it up. We have two sides. So flip around to the other side. The ball goes under your rib cage, but I gotta put my foot in first or I can't find it. Uh -oh. So get your foot in position. If your ball rolled away like mine, find it again. It's gonna go under your rib cage, so it's not on your waist. It's up a little bit higher, so it's on the side of the ribs. And then you're gonna find that nice tabletop ish position, right? I guess one for you. All right. So holding that band either on the side of your hips, down long, or anchored on the mat. I have my top leg into a tabletop kickstand, so it's out of the way. And then lift that leg up and down. Try to get inflated in the ball, under your ribs, strong in the shoulders, scapula connected, foot is just lifting and lowering in a parallel stance. Uh-huh. Breathing. Four, three, two, one, hold it there. Ready? Put your toe just a little bit if you can. Now give me those ovals. We'll do the bend and stretch in a second. <laughs> little oval, little oval. I would say nine times out of 10 and I switch the order. When I switch sides, my brain's always ahead of my mouth or the other way around. <laughs> Pause, reverse your circle or your oval. A little flattish circle, right? So it's kind of kicking forward, lifting to pull back, kicking forward. One more. Hey, lower it for a second. Bend and stretch. So anchor that, legs up, hip height, ribs lifted, strong core. Knee to tabletop, press it out. You can increase or decrease your resistance. Not sure why I just increased it. <laughs> Breathe, press it out, press it out. You got it. Five. Oh, four. You're doing this with me. Three, right? Two. If you're not, it's okay. One. Lower it. All right. We have one more version. We're going to turn out. Again, find your spot on your band. Make sure it's anchored, ribs lifted, shoulders strong. Turn it out. Kick it up. Pull it down. So you're resisting the up and the down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Uh huh. You can always ditch the band, just like I said on the other side. Or if you can, oh, my butt's on fire. Three, two, didn't want you to think it was just you. And one, bring it in. No band needed here. Pull that leg in, either down or towards you. Try to release that hip a little bit. Reach that bottom leg long, get strong in your core, and you can hold your foot or whatever <laughs> works for you. Lift and lower that bottom leg. Find a little inner thigh. Try not to roll back, but just lift small. It's not a big movement. It's just a few inches. We're on the home stretch, y'all. I promise. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Both legs out long. We're going to actually bottom leg comes back up to kickstand. You can support your head. Your bottom arm can stay down. I realize I'm out of the screen here. I was doing some emails right before we started and I didn't fix my camera. So we side bend and we lift. Your bottom hand can stay on the mat if you need it a little bit nicer. Otherwise, we're just lifting and lifting. Four more. Feeling that top side of the waist really cinching in. Two and one. Take the shape of the ball. Side stretch, reach the arms and legs long. Maybe roll, roll your hip forward or back to find where it feels best to you. One more breath in and out. Okay, one more move here. We're gonna do, we need to do a little swan. A um, little variation of it today. I want the ball under your pelvis, okay? So we're gonna put the ball kind of between your pubic bone and your belly button. All right, and then you're gonna think, imprint your spine. So if you look right now, I went into kind of a big extension. I want you to think pelvis curls under. Your feet are gonna stay down a little bit apart, think inner thighs towards the sky. So you're pretty parallel, but active, right? Okay, 
hands wide, um, elbows down just under your shoulders. Reach your crown of the head long, and then really think pelvis up, right? Roll that ball an inch towards you, and then press into your hands, and come up into as high of a salon as works for your body. And then bend your elbows. Relax a second. Shoulders down, belly in. Roll that ball an inch towards your belly button. Press into your hands and lift up. And bring it down. Relax a moment. And then pull the ball in, pull the belly in. Strong shoulders, crown of the head reaching long. And then reach up. Your right hand doesn't go past the end of your mat. No pest dispenser next, as I say most times. The elbows down. Relax. Let's do that one more time. So we pull the ball towards us, belly button in, press into your hands, lift up into your swan, reach the crown of the head, keep those legs active, and then bring it down. Come to your hands. If a child's pose works for your knees and hips, sit back, reach your ball forward, drop your ears between your arms, and then I want you to push into the ball and think pulling your belly in. So you roll the ball a couple inches towards you and lift your waist off of your thighs. And then roll it back out to kind of that just rest position. Big inhale. And then as you exhale, push and pull. your Push down and then pull your ball and pull your abs up. You should feel a nice lengthening sensation all through your spine. And then reach it back out. We're doing that one more time. Okay. Exhale. Push and pull. Energy. Feel that nice, super nice stretch. Feels awesome to me right now. And then come up from there. Bring yourself to seated in your crisscross applesauce, if that works for you. I told you we were on the home stretch. We totally are. Ball in one hand, other hand out to the side. We're going to mermaid this out here. Um, sorry, can you do my name? Yeah. All right, no speed bump. So the shoulder is going to do a little work in ab and abduction. I'm going to take my free hand up to the sky. As I roll the ball out with some energy, lift my top side rib cage, keep those hips down. I'm flexing my spine to the side. And then I want to pull it back up. Okay? Roll the ball out a little bit as you side bend up and over, breathe into that top rib. And then bring it back up. Do some more. Reach up and over. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then bring it up. Last time. Reach up and over, hold the over. Take your top free hand, the one I just waved at you, and rotate down like you're trying to point it sort of towards the ball, only to your comfort level. Come back to your side, then roll the ball back in. Ball on the other hand, gotta get you even. Sits bones even, so sometimes you gotta wiggle to get off the flesh. Bring that hand to the side, ball out to the side. It's like you're stuck between two panes of glass, we roll our mermaid shape over, making our little water spout. Lifting that top rib, breathing. Roll the ball in with some energy. So I want those back muscles and arm muscles to do a little work. Roll the ball out, push into the ball, lifting the ribs, little counter energy here. Roll the ball in, stack back up top. Here we add the rotation. So press the ball out a little bit, reach up and over, find your spot, and then maybe that arm reaches diagonally away from you or curves a little more towards the ball. Breathe. Come back to your side then, and all the way tall. All right, if your band is handy, grab it, and we're gonna finish like we started. So holding the band, even-ish, doesn't really matter. Straight out in front of you, pull it out. Your hands are slightly below the shoulder height, retract, retract. Meaning shoulder blades get a little closer, abs are still tight on the front, I don't want you to hyperextend in the back. Now hold it out a little bit, and reach it up as evenly as you can. Ooh, I like, bring it down. <laughs> you guys should try that in front of a mirror. I, I'm in a mirror with the camera. Sometimes you'll notice one shoulder goes up a little more than the other. So roll them back and down, pull it out, and then reach up. Sometimes your dominant side likes to take over. Go up evenly, hold it overhead. Spread it wide again and pull it down behind your back. If that works for you. Up top. Last time. Give it the little pull towards your jumping jack T shape. The band should be just skimming the back of you. It flips my ponytail every time. Up. Bring it in. And you guys, that is our mini band and ball combo workout. Thanks for joining me.
I hope you have a great rest of your afternoon, and I will see you um, next time. <laughs>